Okay, so as you can see, we have the saran wrap on here. I had to use two pieces um, in order to get it completely covered. Um, with the metal bowl, it's not wanting to use its t usual static to uh, show any real good cohesion. So we may have to use a piece of tape or two, but because the key thing is that we're gonna use one of these marbles that you have included to really create a low point. And the reason that we want that low point right over our mug is so that what, what's going to happen is as we leave it, say, overnight or maybe over a weekend even better, right by your window where you'll get natural light coming in, is we want the drops to come up and then come down and they should want to drop right from this point. So that's the reason. Um, I have tried it with poker chips before. Poker chips, it doesn't work quite as well because there's a possibility that it won't drip completely over the cup. So, uh, now imagine that I could fast forward in time to maybe over the weekend, or if it's in a time of year when there's a long, like a long day with lots of sunlight, it can just be one night during the week. Um, then I come back the next day, and what you can do is take this off, um, you'll have your still toxic water, which you have as green or salt water. And then what I recommend you do if you use salt water or green water is when you're actually pulling the mug out itself, just have something like this towel um, or some paper towel, I guess if it's food coloring, but to dry this off. So you quickly dry it off like that. And then you just show your students that you drink it. And that is the entire lab.